Good morning, children. So here we are back. So let's start with lesson. Let's continue with lesson one. So here, Mr. Phyllis Fogg is talking with his friends. So let's see where the story now will go. Now the others begin to laugh too. Fogg was a proud man, and their laughter made him hung angry. So they all started laughing that Fogg said it's possible to go around the world in 80 days. He was a proud man and their laughter really was making him uh, angry. He stood up and looked at them. I will bet you I can do it. I would like to see you and I will bet you for 4,000 pounds that you can't. This way, no, the other friend said. And I'll bet you 20,000 that I can. Now he is, you know, is going to bet for 20,000 that he can. Fogg's friends looked at each other. It was a lot of money. They went and talked about in the corner of the room. When they agreed that Fogg could not win, Stuart turned to him. They all decided this is quite a big amount of money. Why to say no for this thing? Let it be yes, because Fogg cannot make it and we are going to get that thousand, twenty thousand. So this way known, they agreed. We accept. Fogg looked at them calmly. Excellent. Today is Wednesday now. He, so he told the time also. Today is Wednesday and 2nd October 1872. The train to Dover leaves at 8.45 p.m. I'll be on it and I'll be back in this room on the date he also mentioned. On 21st December at 8.45 p.m. Exactly after 80 days. After a trip around the world, good night, gentlemen. And he's, you know, bid goodbye. And he just, you know, was going back home to try to pack the things and go for the journey. Fogg marched out of the room and left the reform club for his home. Fogg's wallet, wallet here means the servant. Fogg's wallet was shocked to see his master arrive home so early. That time, because Peter Fogg was the man of words so organized so how can that person arrive before the given time was shocked to see his master home on um, so early jean passed it out so this was the male servant the wallet jean passed it out was a pleasant young frenchman with curly brown hair and moustache but this is the description of passport out so let's see the picture also so that you get the idea nearby see this is the passport out picture they have shown this is the picture curly brown hair and the moustache okay so he was very shocked to see this arrive on early yes home so early was a pleasant young frenchman with curly brown hair and moustache although he was rather new to his uh, position with mr fogg he knew that if his master said he would be home at midnight as he was every night of the life he meant exactly at the midnight and not a minute before or after you know that this way his man was his master was a man of words so if he said that midnight it's going to be midnight only not even a minute before or after pass it out we are catching the 845 to dover don't pack any bags we are traveling light so this was the next dialogue of mr fogg in the exam they can give you these type of extracts that who said the above line and to whom so be very particular about all the dialogues what do you mean sir we are going around the world in 80 days bring my traveling bring my traveling coat around the world in 80 days passport out was totally you no know, amazed passport out was too shocked to speak he simply did as his master told him he rushed upstairs thinking about many kinds of jobs he had in his past. So what were the jobs? When he was still in France, a singer, a firefighter, a teacher of gymnastics, even a circus acrobat. These all jobs. He was so tired of traveling from place to place. He took the job with Fogg, hoping to work in a normal stable home where life was regular as clockwork he got this job and he was hoping at least in this job 
he has not to travel from one place to another and his life would be as regular as a clockwork because everything will go according to the clock in the morning this thing in the night this thing in the you know this kind of thing could be there until now he thought he had with a long face he was sad long face means he was sad passed without carried out the order while his uh, master prepared for the journey fog took 20000 pounds so keep in mind what things he took first thing 20000 pounds from his safe and put money in the small traveling bag he he also packed the daily telegraph so this is the next thing he put he also packed the daily telegraph which showed their route their route a guide book okay now the third one was a guide book these three thing first was 20000 pounds then the daily telegraph and a guide book with this time tables they would need for the trains and ships when passport out return for gave him the bag this is everything we need including 20000 pounds take care of it so he told about all these things that these three things are there and along you know you have to take care of passport out nervously took the bag followed his master into the cab for sharing cross railway stations so this is the end of the first lesson so here the video is here we are going to end the video so take care and always keep helping your parents and grandparents thank you god bless you